And we back. For my entire life, I have been waiting for the day the Chicago Bulls win an NBA championship. Now, I guess you could look at me and say, Kenny, you were born in 96, which means that you got to see the second three-peat, right? I mean, I guess technically, yes. But I'm one, I'm two, I'm three years old. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't that doesn't count. And you know what? You can ask any Bulls fan out there. We were close. The Derrick Rose, Joe Kim, Noah, Luau, dang years, we were very, very close. But unfortunate part, we ran into LeBron every single year and going against LeBron in the Eastern Conference in the playoffs was a recipe for uh, you losing. So in today's videos, it, it's different. I mean, I could go into 2K and rebuild the Bulls myself to get them a championship next year. I kind of want to see how long it'll take them to win organically with us just sitting back and watching. What would Ak, AK, Carney Chauvis, the, the guy in charge of Chicago Bulls do according to 2K to eventually win a championship? Now, this video could be as short as two years or it could be as long as 50 like, that, like, legit, there have been videos where I've simmed 20 plus years and some organizations never even get close to a championship. So, I'm gonna have to buckle in because the, the Bulls are far from, from a championship team. And if you like this concept, be sure to leave it a like and maybe we go to some of the other teams. How long would it take the Orlando Magic to win a championship? They just sold everything in real life. So those are the type of videos we could see potentially in the future if you leave a like. And for the newer guys out there, be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. Okay, so y'all know what the Chicago Bulls look like nowadays. Zach Levine, Vucevic, Stadius. We miss Zach Levine. It's been uh, eight games, nine games since we actually saw him play. At least yesterday he was sitting courtside. So, I mean, uh, ho hopefully he's getting closer to returning. I, ha I have no idea. Um, but obviously this team ain't good. Uh -huh. They made a trade at the trade deadline to try to get good, and it it, it, it failed. We just we didn't achieve that goal. Um, and as you can see, the season is starting off rough. But this is a good thing, right? Because the pick that we have is top. Matter of fact, let me load in the draft class. I don't know. I don't I don't normally use draft classes. Is this the best one? Um, is there a real? This one says realistic. This one has been updated 40 times. So I'm gonna assume. If this man is updating it 40 times, I'm going to assume it's right. Sure. Okay. This is, this is okay. We'll, we'll live with this. Um, the pick that we have is top four protected to the Orlando Magic. So that maybe it's a good thing that we suck right now because maybe we win the lottery and get Cade Cunningham and Cade Cunningham could take this video from being 10 years long to being like four. So we'll see. I don't know why I was so far in the corner of the video. Who, who's messing with my settings? Hey, as we simulate, let me remind you that my new show podcast, whatever you want to call it, called Game, premiered on Wednesday. So if you missed that, link is in the description. Go show some love. Me and Richard Jefferson chopping it up. Y'all, first of all, um, the reception has been very good, and I appreciate that. But if you missed out, you're missing up on greatness. It's also on Spotify um, platforms for podcasting. Go go subscribe to those, too. Season has wrapped, and here are the awards for the first, for the first year. Auto Porter, shout out to him. Hooping again. Um, so yeah, there are the awards. Frank Vogel does his thing. Any Chicago Bulls players are highly doubted because we were not good. <laughs> and you don't get all NBA nods on bad teams, typically. Uh, so we finished with the 12th best record in the conference. And I don't know if that bodes well for us. Let me see. Let me see. So the 12th best record, we have three teams beneath there. And then with 29 wins, it's tied with the Warriors. So we're going to have, what, the sixth highest odds to get the first overall pick? It ain't, it ain't great. But I've seen crazy things happen where a team jumps up in the lottery. The 8th seed Toronto Raptors made it to the finals to lose, but they got all the way there. Shout out to the Lakers. They get that championship. All right. Here, here it is. Here it is. This is where um, the video can potentially change right here. So with a 10.6% chance, the Bulls might get it done. They don't. And actually, the pick, I'm sorry, I just got distracted because Raul Nato just threw a behind-the-back pass to Anthony Gill, and it was actually really nice. Um, for realism's sake, I'm going to trade this pick away um, to Orlando because that's that's Orlando's pick now. It's top four protected, and it's number seven. I don't know how 2K doesn't have that in there. So, for the sake of realism, for the sake of realism. Now, I could be petty and just be like, that's our pick now. But you know what? I, 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 I want to keep, keep it real. I, I definitely want to keep it real around here, so... Um, in order to just make the trade happen, you give us back a super late pick from the 76ers, boom. And now the Bulls don't have a pick this year, at least first round pick. Now, obviously, I turned team automation all the way up. Um, so I'm going to simulate the first couple days of free agency so y'all see I ain't cheating just in case the, the Bulls get somebody big. Spencer Dinwiddie, the Bulls get a point guard. <laughs> hey, hey, the Bulls, the Bulls have been needing a point guard for a very long time. So um, we, got, we got Spencer Dinwiddie there. Zach Levine is still here. Um... We lost Thaddeus Young and Daniel Tice. I don't know who Isaiah Jackson is. I, I've never heard that name before. 
but he's from Kentucky. That sounds like, that sounds like Cap. I, like, shouldn't that, is that a name I should know? Oh, he's a real guy. Look at me being a casual. He's actually a real guy. Okay. Um, yeah, there we go. That's it. He exists. Okay. Anyway, uh, from the moves that they made this year, I, I think this is a, a take a year, a step back year. Um, because losing those two power forwards or three power forwards technically, because Larry Markin is not there either. Um, it's, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be real rough. But here we go. I'm simulating to the beginning of next season. Okay, did they fix anything else in free agency? Bobby Portis is back in Chicago. They brought in Lamarcus Aldridge. Who, it, it, I'm gonna let it slide. I'm gonna let it slide. Because who's gonna tell me otherwise? Uh, the team is not good though. This is what I, I. This is what I'm gonna do though, or potentially do for the team. Never mind. I was gonna make Patrick Williams a four, Zach a three, Kobe a two, and then you could run a lineup. Of Dimwitty, Kobe, Zach, Patrick Williams, and Vucevic. And that don't sound too bad. But instead, we got three, four centers that are trying to get rotational minutes. So, 2K, it'd be better. Well, guys, I spoke too soon. And the Bulls are back to not being a playoff team. But this is what, this is 2K. You need to upgrade yourself. Because, I mean, real life, the 10 seed is you're fighting. You're still there. You know what I'm saying? It's a little play-in. Not in 2K. Uh, Jokic won MVP, though. Um, And then we got the Grizzlies. Got Cade Cunningham. I ain't even peeped that. So, Cade Cunningham and Ja and Jaren Jack. That's a championship team in two years. Mark my words. In two years. I'm giving them two years. It's a championship team. Precious Achuya, Jonathan Isaac, Kendrick Nunn, most improved. Lucas Lucas. Um, still don't know who you are, but congratulations on that award. Um, Bulls. Yep, not there. Not there just yet. The Brooklyn Nets barely make the playoffs? Hmm? Here's some statistics if you care. I want to see how close we were to actually making the playoffs. We were, oh, okay. We weren't that close. We're like four games behind. How did Brooklyn only be, oh, y'all are crazy. Well, I mean, you got Moses Brown as a hooper. It don't matter. It shouldn't even matter who your small forward is if you have these three players. And then the bench has Derrick Rose, Isaiah Hardenstein, Bruce Brown. They're about to upset the one seed. Boston? Yeah, they're going to upset Boston. I'm telling you right now. Here it is, right here. I'm a Nostradamus. They're going to upset Bo Oh, look at Bo oh, well, Boston loses in the second round. And then the Raptors, who were the eighth seed last year, uh, become the three seed and win a championship against the Pelicans, who didn't make any major moves, but championship quality team. Other than, I saw LaMarcus Aldridge on their team. So the Bulls made two trades. LaMarcus for Terrence Ross. So Terrence Ross was on our team this season. Interesting. Um, Zach Levine is a free agent. I don't know how that's going to work out. And you know what? It's not, it's not my job. <laughs> it's not my job to figure it out. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, the Bulls had the 13th pick and picked the small forward. I was about to say, um, is there a chance that we jump up? Nope. And I didn't trust any of the draft classes from 2022. Trey Young is an unrestricted free agent. Okay, Bradley Beal, unrestricted free agent, but it likes to going back to the Wizards. Russell Westbrook, unrestricted. Do we have money? Okay, the Nets keep their big three, so that's a scary thing. The Bulls pick, pick Zach Levine back up. All right, but I don't think we have any other money. No, like, no. We got like $9 million in cap. That's not good enough. We're going to the next season. Okay, so I did what I said I wanted to do last season, but now that Patrick Williams is a little bit better, they got him playing the most minutes on the team. Vucevic is like old now, bro. See, he's 32, and we don't even have the pick this year. We better be a playoff team, bro. This is tough, but this, the starting lineup looks good if you ask me. It really depends on how good Patrick Williams comes out to play, real, real talk. And if he's doing that, 22 shot attempts is actually insane. He's not going to take 22 every game, though. Um, yeah, like eight, like, okay. So that was just an outlier. He's, he's not going to take 22 shots, but I think we could be a playoff team this year, bro. I really do think so. But the way this is starting off, maybe, maybe not. DC to find themselves another great point guard. How does Trey Young become unrestricted and end up dropping 29 or 39 points per game for the Washington Wizards? I don't know, but he did it. 39 and 12. They, <laughs> they're amazing. Um, Yusuf Nurkis is now a six man. Giannis is defense player here. Jalen Suggs is most improved. Jalen Suggs is most improved, which probably tells me that Minnesota Timberwolves pick ended up conveying, and they got Jalen Suggs at eight. That's insane. Stan Van Gundy's coach of the year, um, but here are all NBA players. Nobody's on different teams except for Trey on the second team. Oh, my God. I thought this is all NBA second team. I'm like, wait a minute. Um, second team is there. You can't tell me. Bro, the Memphis Grizzlies, they got one more year or what I said in the beginning. I swear to you, I did not know we were the one seed. When I'm simulating, I'm not watching the games. I just come back when I see that screen that tells you the, the MVP. 
I had no idea my boys was hooping like this. Who is it? It's probably Zach Averton, 25. All right, we'll take that, Zach. Patrick Williams with the big step up. His overall actually jumped up to an 86. That's a W. Um, Vucevic only averaging 13. Is he on the last year of his deal? I forget. He is. So very interesting to see what happens there in free agency. But this might be the end of the video. We're not. I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. This is the most improbable first seed I've had in recent videos. Um, Chris Paul now plays for the 76ers on a one-year deal. Oh, my God. I, hey, I know the goal of this video is for the Bulls to win a championship. I'm rooting for Chris Paul to get his, bro. <laughs> That's insane. Um, but they tie us. Where, where is this team? Memphis. They got Grayson out of the two. I mean, this is a very good team. I'm so surprised they're not better than the, like, 6 seed. But they are in the Western Conference. Here we go. First round is against Milwaukee. A little a little rivalry between divisional uh, teams. Patrick Williams versus Giannis doesn't sound like a matchup I'm too interested in. 1-1. 2-1. Okay. Fight back there, Chicago. Don't be that team, bro. Don't be that team, bro. There it, it's, 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 uh, all right. I typically don't jump in for these longer videos, but I have to on this one, bro. I have to. Bobby Portis back in Chicago is actually tripping me out. But hey, Bobby, you can tie the game up right here. You want for four? Come on, bro. Isn't he a solid free? I'm looking it up. You know what's crazy? As I'm recording this video, the Bulls are going against uh, Bobby Portis' team. So it's like, I'm watching him at the free throw line in game, and I'm watching him in actual game on, on my on my screen right here. Multitasking, watching basketball and recording videos. He's a 76% free throw shooter. Here we go. Number two. He is shooting what? They got my boy Bogus out here. All right, Giannis. It's been guarded by Zach Levine. That sounds like a extreme mismatch, but you never really know. Maybe Zach holds his ground late in game, or he fouls in one Giannis. Okay. A score right here closes the game out, but no good. Good defensive possession by Patrick Williams. Can somebody other than... Where... Okay, Zach Levine is on the court. How is Zach Levine playing just like extremely off ball right now? He's getting guarded by Patrick Beverly. Maybe that's why. Here it is. A pick. Kobe White. Okay. That, good. I mean, because right now you're, tr you're trying to sell. Good thing is that Kobe White is like leading the league in free throw shooting in real life, or he's really close to it. Like 90% free throw shooter. So these should be money. The first one is good. The second one is good. And now we play the foul game. We play the foul game, and hopefully they put it in somebody's hands so they don't trust to save the series. Zach Levine with the ball. He gives it to Bobby Portis. Bang! Bobby Portis! Hey, what's crazy is Bobby Portis in real life is second in the league in three point percentage, only behind Joe Harris. So that that's, I don't know if that's realistic, but he hit a three to tie the game. But Giannis and them have a chance. Defensive stop in overtime. That's it. Simple. Defensive stop. It's all on Patrick Williams at the end of the day. Because I don't think they're Pat. They're, this ball is not getting out of Giannis's hands. So Patrick. Oh my God. What a good defensive stop. Force him to take a bad one. <laughs> I don't even care. I don't, <laughs> I don't even care, bro. Sim to Ann, bro. Sim to Ann, bro. So Giannis has got it, huh? Giannis has got it like that, huh? <gasps> what? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why does it say the Bulls won? When Giannis make the last shot, why did it say the Bulls won? Why is it saying the Bulls won? <laughs> but the, the summary is saying that... I, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Y'all saw it happen. I, I couldn't change any. I don't know how the Bulls just won that game. What happened? One more game, boys. One more game. And then y'all come out and not play hard. They're oh my god, bro! What happened with point like six? Well, how much time was left? Like point six? The Bulls advanced to the second round to go against the Miami Heat. How much have they changed? Um, not at all, really. Except for Preston Chuli is a real good NBA player now. Two one them. Two two. The Bulls about to make it to the conference finals, potentially. Nothing comes easy for Chicago, bro. Every series has got to be seven, huh? Every series has got to be seven, and this is like a nail. Hey, I'm actually surprised we even got out of that first season, bro. That first series. All right, Zion wins finals MVP. What can happen for the Bulls this offseason is actually interesting because um, Kobe White, Vucevic, Patrick Williams, 
Troy Brown Jr. These these are all players that are free agents to some capacity. Trey Young is just killing the game. Russell Westbrook's now six man on Charlotte. That's unfair because they were already good to start off with. And yeah, here we go. We were the we're playoff team again, but we fell off a little bit. And now we are the five seed instead of the one seed. Again, last year, legit, legit last year was a fluke. Vucevic is making $37 million eventually. And he's only averaging 14, 15 points per game. That's insane. We got Billy Griffin on the team now. Why do we keep signing players? Why do we keep signing players like this? Um, But I mean, we got th our three young core players are all playing really well. We're about to pay Patrick Williams. But for a team to be um $55 million over the salary cap, we're buns. We just are. It's like, we need to shed some cap. We need, like, we're going against Milwaukee again. And it goes to seven again. Uh, we got that number, though. Blake Griffin with 14 minutes and 20 points in a game seven. Thank you, Blakey Blake. Uh, let's see how this goes, though. Milwaukee, or not Milwaukee, um, Memphis. I said they were going to be great. So far, they haven't been. We got eliminated in the second round. Again, again. The streak continues. Evan Mobley wins finals MVP. LeBron calls it a career, but then I tell him he can't. Same thing with Kevin Love. Same thing with DeMar DeRozan. Um, yeah, I am the overseer of this, this simulation. So y'all don't retire until I say it's, it's a go. And right now it's not. We need to do something dramatic. Um, I don't know what it is or if it'll happen, but it, it's, it's really feel like we're lining up to do a, uh, 20 year plus type video. And I knew it was a possibility going into it, but I definitely didn't expect it to actually happen because this team is trash. And, and the best thing that could potentially happen to us like, come on, there's no money even sign a name of free, a free agent. So you won't sign free agents. The best thing that could potentially happen to us is us to win the lottery one year. But we're a competent playoff team, so we won't win the lottery. We're just going to be one of those teams that's good enough to make the playoffs every year, but not good enough to do anything once we're there. Jalen Suggs went from the eighth overall pick a few years ago to win an MVP. Um, Moses Moody went six man of the year. I, don't, I know some of these names, but not all of these names for sure. For sure. I mean, he's a 20, 21st overall pick a few years ago, but now he's a six man. John Isaac just continues to do his thing. Uh, Steve Kerr is always flexing. And yes, I don't really remember where we ended as a team. But let's see. Um, all NBA. No Chicago Bulls. Because why, why would we have anybody? We're the two seed. Okay, two seed's not bad. Two, could this be the year? Let's see. Um, Zach Levine's averaging 22. We got Cole Anthony on the team now. Hey, Cole Anthony is a 2K beast. For real, for real. So have, how did we get Cole Anthony? I don't even know. He signed a $6 million deal. Thank you, I guess. Could he be the determinant? We CJ McC... Hey, we got some players, bro. Oh, we traded for CJ. Now I'm curious. We got to look at the trade logs. We got to look at the trade logs. So the Bulls made two trades. We traded Blake Griffin for Hern Gomez. Then we traded Trey Brown Jr. Oh, snap. We traded Trey Brown for... What is that? 32-year-old CJ? But I think CJ... I mean, he's, just, he's still averaging... 20 points per 36 he just ain't getting that many minutes could this be the year y'all could this be that year i mean zach levine 22 points per game was he an all-star i don't even know what year are we even in 2025 yeah he was an all-star this year could this be the year of my chicago bulls and we lose game one? oh you can't see that can you okay so you can now <laughs> two two series three two series bulls four two the Bulls get out of the first round. Um, the Heat have Bam out of bio now. So that's, I mean, I would have had Bam out of bio. They have John Collins now is what I meant to say. And yeah, I don't know how, but they did it. Tyler Hero's not here anymore. So maybe they let Tyler Hero go to pick up him. I don't know. 2 K's a weird world. Um, the ones he got eliminated. So that's, that's interesting. Klay Thompson, Marvin Bag. Oh my God. Okay. Detroit. I got to see what's going on in Detroit because their team is completely overhauled with poor Zingas, Killian Hayes, Marvin Bagley, Clay Thompson, Isaiah Stewart is still there. Who's that starting small for you? Hey, low-key Detroit basketball. I was going to say they back, but they just lost to the 8th seed. So maybe they aren't back. They lost to Markel Foles. They lost to this guy from Gonzaga. I recognize that name, and he's hooping. He can score. He can score. Um, they also got Josh Green here, who's been around a little bit, but now he is um, in Orlando, averaging 16. Wendell Carter still there. Jamal Burns is a new name to me. And they got Pascal. Orlando reformulated, and as the eighth seed, they had defensive player of the year as well. So you know how they do. Um, let's get it. We're going against the sixth seed who just beat up on LaMelo Ball and them. Um, they got Derek Ryder at the two. Come on, Kobe White. This is your series. You've been guarded by 70-something overall. Yeah, Kobe. Yeah, Cole Anthony. Cole Anthony is the X factor. Do y'all hear me? Chicago Bulls, find a way to get Cole Anthony because apparently he is a god. He is a sim god out here. 
So here we go. We're going against the New York Knicks. We have Steph. Um, my first memory of Steph and Curry is when he dropped, what, 50, 54, 56 at Madison Square Garden a while ago. And now he was like, I love that so much. I need to go sign there. So they got they got Benedict Mathurin. This seems really, really good, bro. I'm, yeah, they were the five seed. It makes sense of them being at this point, bro. Zach Levine, Patrick Williams has been so good for us. Oh, my God. If we could get this version of Patrick Williams in real life, it's, it's over with for the league. We might actually end up being a playoff team. 2-1. We got two of the biggest markets in the Eastern Conference going head-to-head. -head, and the Bulls are here. Okay. We're going against Evan Mobley's team. Evan Mobley. And who is this guy? Gabe Cox is a hooper. He's averaging 27 and 9 in the playoffs, bro. Hold on. Okay. Let's let's go look at their team because they also have Evan Mobley. So they got probably like one of the biggest front courts in the leagues. Both seven footers. A little David Robinson, Tim Duncan action back with the Spurs. DeJounte Murray is still there. Darius Garland is there now. This team is, they got Lou Dort. We're losing this series, bro. And DeMar is still there. What a great story if they could win a championship with DeMar still being there. I hate it. I hate it. Because we're not winning this series. And this might be the this might be the best chance we get. Game two. This might be the best chance we get. And this man, Gabe, just put up 44 on us. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Bro, that might have been our only chance. Like, for real. LeBron? Uh, I can't make LeBron stay. That might be our own. That might have been our only chance. We might have to go an extra 10 years now. Because that was the best we had to potentially win the championship. And we we fumbled it. And my def Oh, the Raptors. Back to back. One and two picks. And my defense. The Spurs are ridiculously built right now. They're ridiculously built right now. We don't want to face them. Our best, our best chance is that they get eliminated early and we try to get back to that point. Um, but I'm a little afraid that Vucevic is going to start to decline, man. The Bulls, anything? Anything? Nah, they don't have any money to play. Oh, wait, I saw something. They brought, brought Chris Dunn back to Chicago, so that's that's something. They got a little thing for bringing old players back to the city, I guess. Okay, could this be the year? It's not going to be the year of Evan Mobley's hooping like this, bro. It's not going to be the year. We're going to run into them in the finals again. They're going to destroy us. End the story. Um, they got two all NBA players. They're doing everything over there, bro. They're they're killing it. Um, yeah, there's there's no way. They even, Evan Mobley's an all defensive player too. So this should be fun. This should be really really fun. Could we potentially get it done? We are the one site seat again. So I mean something is working over in Chicago. We got Tyrese Maxey now. I didn't even realize that until just a second. And they signed him for one million dollars. We got too many point guards. We got Grayson Allen, who's a good NBA player now. Um, did he, did they trade for him? He wasn't here at the beginning of the season. Yeah, so they traded for Grayson Allen. Um, CJ is still on the squad, but he is at the point where he doesn't even get rotational minutes. Jay Crowder's on the team now, but he is not rotational. Here we go. This is the run. My biggest thing is that we need somebody else to take out the Spurs because we don't have the, we don't have the front court to compete with theirs. I'm not worried about a single team out, what, out East because I think last year we showed that we were... <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, can you imagine in real life if this was all real? All the emo the, the difference in emotions we'd experience as Bulls fans. We're, we're the one seed. We barely get out of the first round against the Bucks on a game winning shot by somebody that we don't even know. We get to the second round, but lose. All right. Yeah, after that, we get to the second round, lose. All right. Yeah, after that, we make it to the finals to go against the greatest front court of all time, potentially. And then, then we get eliminated in, what was that, the second round again? Like, what what did they do this year? What did they do? Um, Zach Levine is now regressing, so that's not good. And the crazy thing is, Zach Levine and Kobe White are in the last year of their deals. Last year of their deals, ladies and gentlemen. We could be going towards a step of rebuild now. I don't know if Kobe's, if he's extremely loyal, okay? And Zach is extremely loyal, so maybe, maybe not. But hey, it's, it's scary stuff going on in this organization. And we don't win a championship this year. And then we get both of those players to walk. Or even just one of those players to walk. We're basically starting from, from zero. But this is a good start of the season. Here we go. Another year. It was Evan Mobley. Now it's Gabe Cox winning the award. So it's just. I swear I thought that was Kevin Garnett. It's just not going to work out. This video is going to last a billion years. 
Was OKC amazing? Did I see Luka now plays in Sacramento? What is happening in this league? They still got two All-NBA players, as always. The Warriors have two as well. Jonathan Kaminga. I don't know why his name is spaced out like that. I, I couldn't tell you. And James Wiseman hooping together. So maybe there's another squad. The Spurs are the two C. We're the one, though. We are the one. And this is the year. You know what I'm saying? What did we do this year? What was different? Dante Diva. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler traded from Chicago. Now. Now, 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 now. They traded Chris Dunn and CJ for Jimmy Butler. They tr when we got Jordan Clarkson in a different trade. Now, this is obviously a different Jimmy Butler. Um, but he's still an 82. He's still that guy in the locker room, I would assume. We got a really good team, y'all. This is the best team we've put together. We got Frank Kaminsky on the roster now. This is the best team we put together. As long as we don't have to go against the Spurs, I feel like we're good. I, I feel like we, we'll be good. <laughs> no, no, not the eight seed again. Wow, I'm, I'm at a loss for words, bro. I'm at a loss for words, bro. I'm at a loss. Hey, and you know what's crazier? Miami's Miami went on to, to compete for a championship, first of all. Um, the Spurs have won four in a row. So that's interesting. But what's sad is that we might end up losing one of our guys and then now we're in this rebuild mode again. Please bring them both back. I, I am a firm believer that next year is the year. I know I keep saying it. I know I keep saying it. Next year's the year. Please bring please bring the guys back. Zach Levine, Kobe White, pre, please come back. Guys, can you see what I see? Um, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Stop simulation, please. I have to see. I have to see. We traded for Keldon Johnson. Oh, we signed Keldon Johnson for two million dollars. Why are why are we why are we suck? Why are we suck? Because right now that's who we are. Zach Levine is regressing at 32. Our our core's old now. Our core's old now. Dang, we missed, we missed the window. See, this is what I mean. This is why we're here. Some teams end up missing the window, and I feel like we did. We are so far behind the eight ball, bro. We are, okay, we're only six games out of the playoffs. But the way it's going, we're not making it, bro. This man is the greatest Spurs power forward of all time. You hear me? This man is hooping. Tim Duggan he never averaged 37. <laughs> and shot 47% from three. It's rigged. The system is rigged. We ended up putting it together to some extent, but I mean, not championship caliber team, obviously. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to tell you guys. We got Marcus Smart on the team now. That's that's that that grittiness that we need. We're the four seed. I just, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This, this is rough. Right, can we beat the one seed though? Nah. The answer is no. I'm sick. Okay. All right. I feel like we've gone long enough for, from going year to year. I think from here on out, I will just show you sim similarly, just show you highlights of when we're potentially close every, every playoff run, potentially. I just want to show y'all um, NBA history. Oh, the Spurs have won it three times in a row. I don't know why I feel like they won it more than that, but still three times in a row is insane. Darius Basie just won a finals MVP. I know it has nothing to do it has nothing to do with what we do around here, but for some reason he won Finals MVP over like Naw or some of the other guys. But I'm just keeping that, keep that in the back of your head, y'all. There is Baisley, future Finals MVP. All right, so things are down, we're down bad, but that is a good thing. I, like I said earlier, Evan Mobley continues to do his thing. Like I said earlier though, the only way things change for this Bulls team is if they win the lottery and get a stud. Will that happen? 14th worst record in the conference gives us the fifth highest odds because I guess the Western Conference is bad. And we get the fourth pick. You know, get the fourth pick. Could there, could there be a stud here at four? There might be a stud at four. Who knows? Here we go. Simulating the NBA draft. And we get a 21-year-old a point guard named Elton. So, yeah, Evan Mobley is just a great, the greatest player of all time. He has two MVPs. I feel like it's more than that. But six-time champion, eight all-stars, five-time NBA first team. The dude is actually a stud. Um, I'm showing you now because we were the five seed this year somehow. Um, even though last year we were basically a lottery team. I don't know what changed. Dylan Terry is now our point guard. He's a 24th overall pick a few years ago. 
Um, we're at the point now where like none of the names are going to be familiar. At least not a lot of the names are going to be familiar. This is the guy we drafted fourth overall. He didn't get a single second of PT though. Uh, so here we go. Who knows? You know, I've seen crazy things happen. There's a first round win. Round two. Round two. Things are getting interesting. I mean, this team. They just barely got out of the first round against the eighth seed. And then they get swept by the five. Here we go. Going against Miami. Um, I don't even know why I'm looking at this because I'm not going to recognize any of them. Okay, I recognize three of the stars. Of course, uh, Trey Jones, Denny Abdiya. If we're doing strictly based off overall, they don't have us beat by that much, man. The point guard position, they're plus one. We're plus one at shooting guard. They're plus two at small four. We're plus one. The center position is what's deadly. I don't know who Dale Page is, but he ain't messing with Nyaka Kongwu. Um, but we win game one. Patrick Williams. Patrick, who is the guy? Who is the guy? Is it Kobe? Kobe White. He's 32 years old. He's the guy. Zach Levine is long gone, ladies and gentlemen. Um, he left in free agency and then I guess since then retired. Game two. Patrick Williams. We're in the finals. We're in the finals. And the Spurs are here. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, they got Gabe, though. Oh, Gabe left the Spurs. I had no idea. Cole Anthony's there, too. This is a really, really good team, bro. Second finals appearance of the video. Spurs win one. They win two. The hope, the, the false hope they gave me. The false hope they gave me, bro. Can we build on this, maybe? I don't know. Like, okay, that, that was an unconventional finals run as a five seed. I don't know if you can really build on that. But I feel like this... We're, we're 11 years into the video. We've been to the finals twice. So the team is extremely good this year. I said I didn't know if they'd be able to build off last year. I guess they have. Um, that's a good that's a good sign, though, from the 5C back to the 1C. But when I look at their roster last year, they didn't have anything crazy as far as, like, the like the 5C making to the finals was so insane. Now we got Pokasepsi, though. He signed a one-year deal. Nice. Nice way to snag him up, Chicago. Kobe White is still here. Patrick Williams on the last year of his deal. That's interesting. Um, I This guy was not here last year, right? Right? Last, we got Jalen Brown? Wait. Hold on. Hold on. So, okay. So, this was the guy that started for us last year. Dale Page. Because I made a reference to him being 81 overall. So, free we won free agency? Like... This guy is, uh, he played in Sacramento as the number one overall pick in 2023. And now he's all the way, I mean, he's not averaging the same numbers, but he's a 94 overall. That's an upgrade. That's a huge, huge upgrade. What's our started? Okay, so we got D Dylan Terry. We got Kobe White, Polka Sepsi, Paul, uh, 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 Patrick Williams, Luis Carson, and Jalen Brown coming off the bench. Now, obviously, it's not the same Jalen Brown me and you know in 2021. But this could, I swear, I pray this is the year, bro. We've been through too much in these 12, 13 years. We get MVP. Okay. His numbers aren't, cra aren't crazy. But we're the one seed. So, I, 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 Billy Donovan is still here, by the way. We're the one seed. So, we even beat out Evan Mobley for, for all NBA first team. Even though Evan Mobley's... That's voters fatigue, bro. He de he should destroy our guy. Could we win a championship? Evan Mobley's squad is only the 8th seed, though. So, maybe. Maybe. Could this be the year? The starting lineup looks elite. Elite. Come on, boys. We're not here, bro. I swear I've been recording for almost two hours. I started this video and the Bulls game started. And they are about to wrap up another loss, by the way. Here we go, against Indiana. Against Indiana. The, I feel like Preston Tuya been on a thousand teams. Hold on, I, I know this is this is way off topic. But why is this man on a different roster every single season? Oh, maybe I'm tripping. M M Milwaukee, Portland, Miami. Oh, I'm tripping. Okay, never mind. I must be thinking about different videos combining in my brain. Game one is a win. Bro, please let this be the year. Dominate the Eastern Conference. We're going against Gabe... We're going against Gabe in the finals. This is the team that just beat us last year. One, two, three, four. It took 12 years. 12 years. So I'm 36 years old. 
if we're in the real world and the Bulls finally won a championship. I can't wait that long, but realistically speaking, I'm probably gonna have to plus some, but it's a wrap. The video is supposed to end as soon as you won, but leave a like. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.